Welcome back guys. New learning session. This time it's going to be tuples. Why tuples? Because I'll be using it extensively in the application which is which we are going to build on iOS for e creating an e-commerce application. So why tuples and what is the significance here? So if you're already knowing a language like Python, then you already know what tuple is. But to a language like uh, uh, Swift, and if you are if you were an objective c developer and if you're transitioning to let's say a swift language it's very critical to know about tuples because that is one of the practices being followed all across just like enums um this is one of the things which a swift developer uses so much so what is a tuple i'm not going to too much depth into what it is actually but then i can call it like you are creating a group of uh, different types or different values together that it can be any type int an array or even a tuple within a tuple or or you can even have functions within a tuple so that is where where i'm coming at in the application which we are building it is it is going to use wiper as an architecture so wiper has a component called interactor which is very critical for let's say if you want to store all the use cases you will always find uh, the interactor being the whole holding all the responsibility for having all the use cases or the business logic of the application so if you want to actually move uh, different uh, you will have different interactors let's say an auth interactor might have information about login registration and different other things and even a logged in user information and you you can also have let's say in my case in my application uh, i'm having a products listing application even it can have stores and everything and there can be different other users who are logging in so if i have to actually pass around different uh, business logic to different modules let's say i have a listing product module which might require an authentication information let's say the login user information then it's easier that you create tuples and then just pass whatever you need as a value or even as a function to this tuple and then pass it along different uh, modules so that is the whole intention of having this uh, tutorial where i will introduce what a tuple is and uh, have different scenarios being uh, about the usage different usage scenarios basic usage scenarios even as well as advanced so let's uh, quickly go into that and start this tutorial so let's get started 